Thank you for purchasing our Little Giant brand of Trophomatic float valves. It is our goal to produce superior products and to make the use of our products both fun and easy. This film is designed for the instructional use of the Little Giant Trophomatic float valves. The first half of this video will demonstrate the assembly of the valve housing and the second half will demonstrate the multiple mounting options. Little Giant makes six models of trophomatic float valves, which includes three metal and three plastic units. TM830 has an aluminum housing with a nylon orifice. TM830T is the same as the TM830, however it includes expansion brackets to fit tank rims up to two inches thick and four and three eighths inches wide. TM830AS is the same as the TM830T, however it includes an anti-siphon valve housing. TM825 has a plastic housing with built-in orifice. TM825T is the same as the TM825, however it includes expansion brackets to fit tank rims up to two inches thick and four and three eighths inches wide. TM825AS is the same as the TM825T, however it includes an anti-siphon valve housing. These are the assembly instructions for the TM830, TM825, TM830T, and TM825T. For the purpose of demonstration, we will use the TM830 and the TM830T. The TM830 includes the following parts. The TM830T includes the following additional parts. Tools required for assembly are a straight blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. To begin, make sure the pre-assembled plastic orifice and hose washer are properly assembled in the valve housing. The orifice should be assembled with the flat side facing the outside of the valve housing. Please note, the orifice on the plastic models, TM825 series, is molded into the valve housing. Next, make sure the hose washer is properly installed. It should be seated firmly against the valve housing, creating a seal. Position the float assembly with the valve seat down into the valve housing. Insert the large cotter pin into the hole on the outside of the housing. Line up the float valve with the holes inside the valve housing and continue to push the large cotter pin through until fully seated. Spread the ends of the large cotter pin open slightly with pliers. When properly installed, the float assembly should pivot freely on the large cotter pin inside the valve housing. These are the assembly instructions for the TM830AS and TM825AS. For the purpose of demonstration, we will use the TM825AS. The TM825AS includes the following parts. Tools required for assembly are a straight blade screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. To begin, make sure the pre-assembled plastic orifice insert and washer are firmly seated against the anti-siphon valve housing. The orifice should be assembled with the flat side facing the outside of the valve housing. Next, make sure the hose washer is properly installed. It should be seated firmly against the valve housing, creating a seal. 
Position the anti-siphon valve stem assembly in the slot of the float and slide the small 1 and 1 8 inch cutter pin through the float and the valve stem assembly. Spread the ends of the small cutter pin open slightly with pliers. When properly installed, the valve stem assembly should pivot freely on the small cotter pin inside the valve housing. Thread the anti-siphon valve housing all the way into the valve housing. Position the float assembly inside the valve housing. Insert the large 2 and 1 quarter inch cotter pin into the hole on the outside of the housing. Line up the float valve with the holes inside the valve housing and continue to push the large cotter pin through until fully seated. Spread the ends of the large cotter pin open slightly with pliers. When properly installed, the float assembly should pivot freely on the large cotter pin inside the valve housing. This completes the assembly of the Little Giant Trophomatic float valves.